This is Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com and we've officially cut the cord and when we did it I noticed we have uh, we have an HD home run which allows us to and I'll show you here um, stream local HD channels from an antenna over our network so all of our TVs can access essentially all of our local channels for free there's a little myth tv box that we can do full dvr just on our local stations here so we do have that if we want to watch you know quote unquote normal tv that doesn't cost us anything monthly i'll put a, uh, a link in the description to show you how to set this up if you're interested so for cable channels and different things like that of course we have our nas that has different tv shows and movies on it uh, this is pretty much a fresh install of cody or xvmc but what i notice is when i set up streaming add-ons you know, you, you would set up the shows that you want to watch on one Cody box, but then it wasn't synced with another or synced with another. And I wanted an easy way to do that. So I, I, I found a way and I'm going to show it to you here to where essentially from your mobile device or from any web browser, you can go in and add all the TV shows that you want to your quote unquote collection. And then all of your XBMC or Cody boxes will automatically update with that metadata. And then whenever you try to play an episode or a movie, it'll go out to the internet and find a place that you can stream it from. So what you want to do first here. And I have another video on how to set up Cody initially if you need that. Uh, but what I want to do first here is just go to System File Manager. And you'll see here that I added a root location called Fusion. And I'll just show you what this is here. Essentially, you're going to add this path, uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV add-ons dot AG. You can name it Fusion. Okay, now that we've added the Fusion location, what you're going to do is go into your settings here, add-ons, install from zip file, and then you're going to want to select Fusion, which is that location on the internet. Start here, and then you're going to want to add this add-on installer here. So press enter, it'll take it a second to install it. I already have it installed, but essentially just press enter and that will install. Once you do that, back all the way out, and that add-on installer, which will allow us to install the plugin to do all the streaming, is under Programs. So you can see Add-on Installer, press Enter. And we want to do a video add-on. And we're going to look for one called Genesis. Next page. And here it is right here. So just press Enter on that. Give it a second to install. Okay, so now that Genesis has been installed real quick, let me just show you what this is so you understand. And then I'm going to show you some cool tricks. Uh, so you want to do that on all of your Kodi or XBMC boxes and is, is install that add-on installer and then in, add, uh, add Genesis to it. So if I go to videos, add-ons, you will see Genesis here and press enter. Now I can go into TV shows or movies. Uh, you know, I want TV shows, most popular. It'll pull up the shows. You know, I can... These are the most popular ones. I can hit enter. You can see there it's got the different seasons. Press enter. It's got the episodes. Uh, and so what this is, this is just all the metadata. So the artwork, the episode information uh, uh, divided out into seasons, that kind of thing. When I press enter on one of these, what it's going to do, and it takes it a second, but it's going to go out and it's going to pull all the sources on the internet that are either HD or standard definition, whatever. And essentially, these are the, the areas you press enter on one of these. It'll go all out. It'll start streaming that directly to that device. Um, if it doesn't work, just pick another one. It'll do that. Sometimes it'll take a second to buffer at the beginning. Obviously, the lower quality, the quicker it's not going to buffer. But um, if it takes a second to buffer, just chill. Most of the times it'll work within a few seconds, and then and then you can watch a show like normal. It also automatically has all the commercials cut out of it. So for anybody in your household that says, well, I hate how it buffers at the first say, well, I hate how I have to fast forward the commercials constantly and, and stuff like that. So the, the timing, it really is a lot faster, even if it does buffer. But most things for me on a 50 meg uh, download, it pretty much streams instantly when I do it. So that's how that works. So you can see I have access to everything in here. The problem is, is what, what I want to do is I don't want all of these shows. I only want certain shows we watch. Plus, I don't want to have to navigate to video, add-ons, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to back out, and I'm going to show you a, 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 a couple things here. First of all, you're going to want to open your browser, and I will open that up here. And you're going to go to tracked.tv, T-R-A-K-T.tv. Go ahead and register. 
uh, a username and password and login. Everything is free. This doesn't cost anything. And essentially what it is, is I'll hit the home screen here, is it'll have all these different shows or different things that's going on and, and it tracks what you watch or what you want to watch. So you can come out here and search. You can do whatever. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go to my collection and I'm going to say shows. So these are shows that we've quote unquote added to our collection. So you can see here, there's different shows that we watch. Um, not a lot of network stuff because we still DVR that live. Some of it, some of it we don't. So these are a lot of the, the cable shows that the people in my house watch. So what you're going to want to do. So essentially what I can do is, is, all of these shows now, I can automatically have them show up in all of my Kodi boxes attached to all of my TVs, whether it's running an Apple TV or a, a new Amazon Fire TV or a home theater PC, whatever it is. And I have some links on how to set that up in the description. But essentially, all of those will automatically pull it, this data into XBMC so it'll look flawless for everyone that's trying to watch this and see the episode. It'll just find a source on the internet to stream it and you'll be off and running. So you can actually really customize your viewing experience where everything's on demand. What I'm going to do real quick is just press TV here. Actually, what I'll do is I'll show this in a second. So I'm going to go back to Cody and I'm going to go back into the add on Genesis um, tools. Oh, these are some different tools. Um, open Genesis settings. So what you're going to want to do here is keep going over until you find accounts. And you can see here, here's a tracked account. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my username and password. Okay, so I have added that. I'm going to press enter here. And what that's going to do... When I back out of this and I go to My Genesis, so instead of TV shows or movie, when I go to My Genesis, TV collection, now you're going to have to give it a second because it's going to go out to the internet and it's going to pull in all of those shows and it's got to log me in the first time. Once it does that, it caches it and it'll be really fast for you. So you can see here as it logged in, now I have all of my favorite shows easily accessible to... Uh, go from the internet. So all I have to do is go to all of my XBMC installs or my Kodi installs and type in my tracked username and password. And there's all of my shows right there ready for me. So <clears throat> a couple other things, uh, just real quick, I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, if I go back to my browser here, um, I could just hit TV if I wanted to and just start adding additional TV shows. So like, um, uh, let me pick one that's not on there. That I don't really care about, but like this iZombie, let's say if that's a show that, that my family was watching. And again, I could do it from my mobile device. Doesn't matter as long as I'm logged in. All you have to do is press this add to collection button here. It'll add that show, that entire show to your collection, and then it will always show up in your Kodi boxes. So just come through and start adding collection. You can do searches, popular, whatever you want. And you can see your house of cards is it, it's lit up because that, that's already in my collection. Walking Dead is, etc., etc. Okay, so that's it. So, um, for that piece. Now, the one thing that I've done to make this even more seamless, so um, this skin is the skin that comes with it, Confluence here. I'm actually going to change my skin because there's a there's a way that I can also make this look like a DVR. So when you click it, it'll show you the latest episodes that are available of the shows that you watch, which is a really cool feature. But I'm going to go to Appearance. Uh, I'm going to change the skin to Aeon Knox. If you don't have it, just hit Get, uh, get More. And then you'll see it right there. Just download it. And then it'll ask, do you want to switch? And you say yes. So I'm going to hit that. Do you want to keep this change? I'm going to say yes. And what I want to do now is um, go to appearance, skin, and then settings. Right here, you're going to want to do the horizontal to low probably. And then I want to set up the main menu. So you can see I can turn off if I don't have pictures on my installation, I don't have music, I can just start taking stuff off of the home screen if I want to. So I, have, I do have live TV, I have TV shows on my NAS, I have movies on my NAS, whatever. But I'm going to go to this first one, custom here, and I'm going to um, set a default select action, and I'm going to go to uh, add-ons, video add-on. Genesis, my Genesis TV collection. 
So now what this is, is essentially doing a shortcut to that area. So I'm going to create a shortcut here, press enter. Now it's got that, it's enabled. I'm going to change this and I'm going to call this um, online TV, like that right there. So now that's there. Um, now what I want to do is that'll be a main header on the uh, on on the home page. I want to add a couple things underneath it. One thing I want to so what I'm going to do is hit manage sub menu. These are the things that'll be below it. And so I have one here. I'm going to hit the type button until I get to add-ons here. I'm going to hit over, go to Genesis, my Genesis episodes. Create shortcut here. So now what I want to do is I want to set the label and I'm going to call this DVR. Like that right there. Then I'm going to go ahead and add one more sub menu just to show you so I can add add. Um, I can keep it as Genesis. And let's just say if I wanted access to the full Genesis thing. So I'll just press enter here and say create shortcut here just to show you. Uh, you could do the same thing with movies as well. You would just hit the collection instead of the TV collection. That'll be all your favorite movies in one place. You can create another custom menu for it and so forth. But you guys should get the get the gist of this. So you can see here I have one called DVR. One's just called Genesis. And I'm gonna. so now I'm going to back out of all of this. So now in my home... I have my movies on my uh, NAS, TV shows on my NAS, live TV from my HD home run and an antenna. And then I also have now online TV with DVR and then the full Genesis under it. You might name that all or something, but this will make it way simpler for the people in your house or when you have friends over or whatever to access your TV. So if I go to online TV here and press enter, you can see that that's all of my shows. So again, if I want to add more shows to this, I go out to track add them to the collection. They will automatically show up here and on any other XBMC or Kodi install that I have. Um, if I back out of this and I go down to DVR, sometimes this takes a second to load, but you can see this out of all the shows that I watch, these are the latest episodes. So it's no different than having a DVR from your cable company. So this has made a huge difference since we've cut the cable. And in fact, we prefer to watch TV this way because now everything's on demand. It's ready to go. This is super low maintenance. I have a NAS with a bunch of stuff on it. But with this right here, you don't even need it. You can just stream everything directly from the web. So you're not downloading anything, nothing like that. There's tons of sources out there, all the most popular shows. Um, of course, you can organize. Uh, you can change how this looks. So if I hit online TV, I can, of course, you know, change it to info wall or, or any of the deals. And you can see all of the, everything's there. Like all of the uh, artwork, all of the everything. Press enter. All the seasons are there. I can change how those look if I want to. You know, whatever. That, I could, you know, just keep changing around. So the episode view. And again, so what I've done, is if I press enter on any of these, it's automatically going out to the web and finding all the sources of this actual episode. Sometimes, again, it takes a second, but there's no commercials, so um, well worth it. A lot of times I find the HQs work the best. The HDs, a lot of them will work. Some won't. I'll just pick one here. And there you go. I can pause, fast forward, do the, the normal things. Of course, you can't fast forward too far unless it's buffered quite a bit, but I paused it there. Right, so you have all the normal things that you, that you would have. So I can just press X to exit or exit on your remote or, or whatever. So again, Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com. Please visit us. We have lots of setup guides for home theater stuff, for home arcades, home jukeboxes. Um, we sell arcade parts on there if you need them. And again, we got all of these guides out there. So please visit us and also subscribe. Thank you.